it's the middle of August and our pepper plants are really putting on a lot of peppers so we've got a mixed bag of peppers here that we've been picking as they ripen we've got some serranos some habaneros red jalapenos cayenne peppers we've got one ghost pepper and uh, this one here is an anaheim so it's kind of sweet and that's the only anaheim that was that was red so i wanted some color we're going to make some fermented hot sauce and uh just kind of show you what we're going to do to to get it made this is the first time i've ever made hot sauce so i'm not going to act like i'm a expert on this so I've watched a few videos read up a few articles about uh, fermenting the peppers so we're going to give it a shot see how it turns out and uh, this will be a good way to use up a lot of peppers that would otherwise just sit in the fridge and and rot because uh, some of these are really really hot and uh, we don't just we don't eat a lot of them now the habaneros I like to make jerk chicken with them but I think I'm going to use all of these in the sauce and the way the way I got started I've got one liter of water warm water and I dissolved 50 grams of salt so I weighed out the the salt and I measured out the water to be uh, the right um, percentage of salt I think from what I read that's a a five percent solution and that's a, a good solution to use so I've got a couple of quart jars and uh, I didn't have a big one so I just have to use two quarts and uh, I boiled these washed them and then boiled them to sanitize them and uh, we're just gonna chop the peppers up put them in the jars fill them up with the brine and then weight them down on the inside to keep them below the brine level so I'm gonna put some gloves on get these chopped up in the jars and then come back and kind of show you from there so I got them all chopped up you can kind of see there was a few of these habaneros that kind of had a dark um, inside to them in the pith and so I didn't use those and anything that had a bad spot I just cut it off and then looked on the inside real good made sure it looked good uh, cut out the bad spot but I had a couple of habaneros that I don't know it was looking kind of kind of black on the inside I didn't use those but other than those uh, two habaneros I used all those peppers and, and uh, I got two quart jars just about full you can kind of see and I tasted the ghost pepper and I've noticed in growing them past uh, this is the third year we've grown ghost peppers sometimes you'll get mild they'll look like a ghost pepper uh, but the plant will only put on mild peppers they look just like the ghost peppers so um, that pepper that I've got that was ghost it was a it's a mild variety so this this shouldn't be too too hot and I've got some other I've got another plant growing beside it that I know is hot I've tried it and it's hot but they're not they're not quite ripe yet so I'll uh, see how hot this sauce is I may make a second batch later this uh, uh, this uh, garden season and I've got some uh, Carolina Reapers that's not quite ripe either they're all green but I want this one to be all ripe peppers um, bright reds and orange and I'm looking for the color more than anything more than the heat on this but I think there's gonna be plenty of heat with all those habaneros but I might make another batch later with some of the uh, Reapers and and some of the hot ghost peppers so uh, we'll see how this turns out i'm going to put the uh the brine in these jars and then weight it down and then let it set out probably um probably two weeks maybe maybe a week and a half i don't know we'll see how it goes but um, i'm gonna put some salt water in here and and uh brine and then weight them down so this is what i came up with took a couple of jelly jars filled them up with water of course I boiled them first so they're sanitized and then just weighted the peppers down made sure none of them was floating up to the top and uh, that's gonna be my my brine I'm gonna leave it probably a week or two 
we'll see and then come back and show you when we make the sauce all right it's been 10 days that the peppers have been fermenting so i've strained out the brine i put all the peppers in my food processor and i added a little white vinegar and some of the brine back into it and and uh processed it and i also took some neutral oil i think i used canola and i, I don't know a couple tablespoons of oil and i put it in a pan and i sliced up two big cloves of garlic and uh, just toasted a little bit till it got a little bit brown and then at the end of the processing i just poured it in the top slowly and let it emulsify into the sauce that really changed the color it was more of a red once i added the oil it kind of turned this orange look but it smells pretty strong in here and uh, i'm going to check the consistency and make sure it's what i want i may uh, give it a taste see if it needs more vinegar or more salt and then uh and then i'm going to strain it so i gave it a taste and it's pretty hot it's really hot it's a hot sauce so it's it's going to be good it's a little hotter than i expected but um, that's a lot of habaneros and serranos those are pretty hot peppers so i added a little sugar to it and another splash of white vinegar and just just by the taste so uh, that's kind of where i wanted it i'm going to give it another taste and then probably strain it out so this is what we're left with it's a thin real thin sauce and that's what i was looking for something like a tabasco uh, thin sauce something i can put in a jar and, and just kind of do some drops i'm gonna have to order some um, hot sauce jars that's got the little lids that that lets you just drop it out because this is pretty hot i don't know you probably don't want to spoon this out or try to pour it out of a mason jar but this is all i have right now and i'm just going to keep it in this jar until uh, I get some hot sauce bottles, but this is going to make a really good spicy hot sauce for wings or chili or um, anything you like hot sauce on. So um, I think it turned out pretty good, but it's really hot. And so that's my mixed pepper hot sauce. Thanks for watching.